And um, I don't like having perfect black, so I put it like just over black, a little nice grayish. Um, let's see. Next, we need to make a new layer. We'll call this line. Um, width will be five. Height will be what was it? Five hundred. Oh, what the hell? Five hundred. And let's make this just over black as well. Boom. Oh, that's that's kind of big. What the hell? Whatever. We'll we'll fix it. Watch. So we need to position our line. Make that three lid. Yeah, make all these three D. Position of the line. Let's put it right in between like that. And then that looks good. Okay. So what I want to do is kind of animate everything together. Um, let me just type in my uh, URL really quick too. YouTube.com x baker x hd Sheboygan. Scale that down and I like to position this, make that 3D. Position this on the right side just under the uh, the name. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's see. I need let's go to line, scale this down really quick, so uncheck the link so we can scale the Y down just just about the size of the, uh, the emblem in this. And it's kind of really, really squarish. So what I do is go on the line and then ellipse tool. So it kind of feathers the, uh, the edges to a sharp point because it's so skinny. And what we got to do now is let's go to, oh, what did I do? Let me, you don't mind if I check real quick, do you? Okay. Um, scale, let's, okay. One half. Okay, so we're gonna go from one second. Oh, what the hell? Pre okay, pre-final. There we go. Sorry. Line. Take the position. Click the stopwatch to animate, and go to one and a half seconds. And this is like your final position. So before, I want it to start over here and past uh, our text. So we we'll go right over there. And if you want, set some motion blur up. So it's kind of motion blurry as it's moving. Looks pretty nice. And I want to um, animate the scale as well. I want the line to like grow. So we'll push S, keyframe the scale, go to half a second in, or a full second, doesn't matter. You guys can always tweak this, but go back to the beginning and we want it the height to start at zero. So we'll bring this down, type zero. So if we look, Kind of just grows and then it's gonna move over across the text, revealing the text, all that good stuff. Um, let's deal with the emblem really quick. So our line stops at one and a half seconds, right? One fifteen stops right there. So our emblem, let's animate the position. That so this is our final position right there. So we want to uh, stop there. So we'll go back, maybe half a second as well. And just push it into Z space, and we'll put some motion blur on that as well. Boom. So we'll have line growing, sweeping across, and the emblem coming together all in one, one thing. Okay. So now we need to deal with how do we, you know, reveal the text like like I did before. And what we're gonna do is use a track mat. So we're gonna make a new solid, doesn't matter what color, make it comp size though. Boom. Put it right over your name. So let me call this name, let me call this URL. And this solid is gonna be the name mat. If you want to uh, keep everything organized, so uncheck it so we don't see it. And let's go to the first frame where the line starts moving, which is at one second. Take a rectangle tool. And we'll drag it across and line it up with the line right here. And we'll go across to when it stops animating. And let's go on the mask and uh, click the mask path, which animates the the, ma the mat. There we go. So right there, moves across. And we need to go to that frame and move the mask in line with the line, just like that. So if you kind of see, this yellow box goes with the line, and we're going to set the name, go to track mat, 
alpha inverted mats. So if you look, oh boom, oh god, and put a motion blur on this as well, so it kind of blends a little bit better. But look at that, boom. So now I want to animate the URLs that come down underneath our name. We're also going to use a track mat, so let's create a new solid. Doesn't matter what color, we'll call this URL mat. Comp size, boom. Okay, put it right over your, your uh, URL, which it is. So uncheck it so we can take a look. And let me um, push P for position, and let's see. So that all comes together. I'm going to go from two seconds to let's make it three seconds and I want it to start up like that so you kind of see it move down like that whoosh, over a second so first frame it animates we're going to go to URL mats create a mask and just use a mask right to the bottom of the title if you can kind of see that and animate the mask path go to the final frame of animation for the URL. Actually, no, you don't need to. Just delete that. Okay, just keep that mask. And then um, take the URL. Again, alpha mat inverted. Or alpha inverted mat. Whatever. So you don't see it. Comes down. Whoosh, boom, like that. Okay. Um, one more thing. Let's create a camera because we're going to like uh, zoom out, so to speak. Or zoom in, really. Go to camera and a new null object. Take the camera and parent it to the null. Sorry if I'm going fast. I don't want this to last too long. Position of the null. Make sure it's 3D. Okay. Make sure all these are 3D, including the mats, except for the background. Keep the background there. Okay. So the null. We are gonna go. So let's see. That goes. So let's go from five to position to six, and then just kind of zoom in here. And let's uh, let's give some motion blur to all these, so it's kind of blurry as we're flying past. So here's our uh, here's what we got real quick. So text flies in, blah blah, goes down, and then zooms in. Okay, so that is basically the gist of that. And then what I did was take our pre-final, drag it into a new comp, and we'll call this. Final. This is where I like to put all my sound effects and then last touches. So, first thing I want to do is um, create a little reflection. So, I'm going to duplicate the pre-final, make it both 3D. Take the top one and go to R for rotation. Rotate it about the x-axis, so it's like flipped 180 in 3D space. And I'm going to push T for opacity and bring it down to about 50. Okay, I'm going to uh, bring down the position just like that. Uh, no, that looks good. And I'm going to use a mask to kind of fade it out because you can see it uh, overlapping a little bit. So I'm going to, oh shit. Make sure you're uh, highlighting the uh, reflection. So I'm going to bring it over. And then I just want it to go just about to the text like that. Set it to subtract, so it's just right there. But then we got to feather it. I used like I don't know, 100, just about, maybe, maybe 150. So, I mean, this won't always work for uh, reflections or anything, but it's very simple, so you don't have to like duplicate things in 3D space and get all that done. So um, another thing I did was just add a quick, fast blur. Just so it's a tiny bit blurry, so it's a five, I think. Looks like a real reflection. Looks nice. Okay. Um, another thing I did was a new solid. Make it black or just grayish. It doesn't matter because we're just going to use the ellipse tool. This is our little vignette, and we'll set it to subtract, feather it, I use about 300, and don't want it to overpower too much, so opacity, bring it down to 25, maybe, yeah, oh, no, 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 no. okay, one more thing, adjustment layer, um, cinematic preset from my presets download thing, put that in the description as well, um, I don't really like the levels, because it's so white and black already, 
Um, just the curves, I think, looks nice. Um, it's a little too yellow, so just bring down the opacity. I use, let's see, 50 looks about good. So, um, let me see. Shing! And then, you know, just flies. I mean, see, like, the reflection right there doesn't really look, um, doesn't maintain the perspective and all that, but, I mean, it looks alright. You can always animate the position down. Kind of fix that, and that's about it, you guys. Um, comment what you think, any other intros you want me to kind of explain or try to make a tutorial. Um, that's about it. I think I will include this project file in the description, so if you want to like download it and mess around with it, or you can try to just follow this and build it on your own. I mean, that's, I think that's the best way to learn. Try to just um, follow the instructions, you know, make it as you're watching it. Pause it every, every now and then. But um, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, I need to go to work in about 10 minutes, so I'll see you guys. All right, peace.